we are learning to self-monitor when reading. Self-monitoring means that when you're reading, you're checking, is what you're reading, does it look right? Does it sound right? Does it make sense? A good reader does all these things all the time. Let's have a look at how you can self-monitor. Let's look at, a, at an example of how you use the strategy of does it look right to help you when reading. Let's have a look at this story here, Shopping with a Crocodile. Let's start reading the story. When I go to the shops, I always have to take my alligator with me. Now let's stop here. I made a mistake when I was reading. When it, if I'm self-monitoring, I'm going to be thinking about this word here. Does it look right? I can use two strategies for looking. I can look at the sounds at the beginning of the word. I said alligator, but this word starts with a cr, so it can't be alligator. The other thing that I can look at is the illustrations. When I look at the illustration, I can see that this is a picture of a crocodile, not an alligator. So I would go back and reread and say it correctly. When I go to the shops, I always have to take my crocodile with me. So when you're thinking about does it look right, you can look at the visual cues, which are the things like the letters at the start of the word. And you can also look at the visual cues as in the pictures that are in the text. Let's read on again and use self-monitoring does it look right to help us again. He is pleased to go for a walk. He waves his tail and smiles at everyone. Not many people smile back. They just blink and stare. At the cake shop, the cake shop woman says, Going for a walk with your monster, are you? That makes two of you. Now here you will see that I made a mistake here and here. I'm going to think about does it look right to help me to correct this word. At the cake, cake starts with a k sound, but this word starts with a br sound, so it can't be cake. And when I look at the pictures, I can see that there are some pictures of bread. Ah, I know what the word is. At the bread shop, the bread shop woman says, going for a walk with your monster, are you? That makes two of you. So I've used my strategy of does it look right to help me with those two words? Now I'm going to think about using this strategy, does it sound right, to self-monitor. Let's read this page. Quick as winking, the crocodile snaps up a cinnamon bun. Get him off out here, yells the bread shop woman. I said... Get him of out here. Does that sound right? Is that how we talk? Does it sound right to you? No, it doesn't sound right, so I need to go back and try and read that again. Get him out of here. Ah, that sounds better. When you're reading, you need to think about, does it sound right? Is that the way we talk? Is that the way we put words together in a sentence? And if it doesn't sound right, you need to go back and read it again. That's the self-monitoring strategy of does it sound right. The last self-monitoring strategy we're going to look at is does it make sense? Let's read this page of the story. In the supermarket, the crocodile is a real pain. He wants to ride in the supermarket truck just like a two-year-old. Now, think about what I did there. I made a mistake with this word here. I said truck. It starts with a tr. And so it does look right. And it does sound right because he wants to ride in a supermarket truck. That is how we talk. But does it make sense? Do we have things called supermarket trucks that we use at the supermarket? 
No, so I need to go back and think about that one again. Ah, I know what it is. It's trolley. In the supermarket, the crocodile is a real pain. He wants to ride in the supermarket trolley, just like a two-year-old. There isn't much room for a crocodile in the supermarket trolley. And there is no room left for the groceries. I have to carry them in the shopping bag and push the trolley at the same time. The crocodile snaps his jaws, meaning faster, faster. I go faster, faster around the corner, buy the owls and cereals. Oh, hang on, let's stop there. Buy the owls and cereals? Owls starts the same as this word. By the owls, that, that's how we talk, so it sounds right, but does it make sense? Would there be owls in the supermarket? No. Let's go back and have a look at it again. Ah, I know. Oatmeal. I go faster, faster around the corner by the oatmeal and cereals. It is just bad luck that we run into a tall display of cat food. Tins fly everywhere. So on that page, I was using the strategy of, does it make sense? I was thinking about the context of the story, where it was happening. It was happening at the supermarket. And what kind of word would make sense in there? A good reader uses all three of these strategies when they're reading. They think about, does it look right? So they're looking at the beginning sounds of the words the middle sounds and the end sounds too, and the pictures. They think about, does it sound right? Is that the way we talk? Is that the way we put sentences together? And they think about, does it make sense? If we think about the story and the things in it, what kinds of words would make sense? When you're reading, see if you can use these three things to help you when you get stuck on a word. Does it look right? Does it sound right? Does it make sense?